Hello, good afternoon folks, it's uh, Deal Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Tuesday's trading session, end of day, 19th of July 2016. Please be sure to visit Tradesignal.com, www.tradesignal.com, you can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store, signals and market updates from leading providers. Okay, now in terms of deciphering exactly what's going on here, let's start. Okay, so um, we had Netflix um, uh, certainly bearish overnight. We had Yahoo obviously bearish overnight. Uh, so certainly um, the risk off tone certainly was in full motion overnight with uh, Netflix down almost 15%. As we all know, Nasdaq is uh, a major market mover uh, globally uh, and interlinked with the uh, with the Nikkei as well. Okay, so therefore we uh, indicate where we were certainly expecting a risk off session. Okay, we had a potential terrorist incident as well in Germany. Okay, so um, that certainly uh, triggered off a risk off tone. Uh, in terms of um, coming into today's session, uh, the other additional economic data out of the UK really was the inflation data in the UK stronger than expected, therefore obviously uh, bearish given the fact that it negates any possibility of rate cuts and QE from the uh, BOE. Uh, ZEW survey out of Germany certainly weak, EU construction and ZEW certainly weak as well out of Europe. And again, that, that certainly cast a risk off tone. We also had weak earnings from Ericsson this morning as well. Obviously, adding the fact that you had weak earnings from Netflix and uh, Yahoo overnight, although IBM certainly came out stronger. We had um, the situation with Moody's certainly uh, down, downgrading the potential growth of the UK, uh, certainly um, creating Brexit concerns going forward. Uh, okay, Mr. Wheel, uh, no rate cut, certainly sounding hawkish. Uh, in terms of a weaker global growth by IMF, yes, I've covered that as well. Ericsson and uh, certainly weaker. Volvo certainly weaker as well. So everything was indicating lower, but the market certainly resisted and moved higher. So let's try and uh, look at this uh, market in terms of technicals. Just prior to that, the global dairy auction for Kiwi certainly came out stronger. Um, uh, a short squeeze pop ensued and certainly is over for now. Uh, the Antipedians, the, uh, the basically the Aussie and Kiwi, certainly under pressure now, given the fact that uh, pre previously they they were uh, a source for higher yield, and that isn't the case anymore now with uh, both central banks now potentially indicating uh, uh, dovish stances. Okay, so again, the Aussie and Kiwi certainly getting hit, and the dollar certainly rallying as well. Uh, Red Book and housing stats, uh, Red Book housing stats and building permits came out stronger, certainly forced the uh, Nasdaq higher. That certainly is uh, is coming off now uh, in terms of Red Book, certainly coming in slightly weaker. So overall, net-net, bearish, okay, from my perspective, certainly bearish, okay. So let's look at the actual uh, technicals now, look at the German DAX first and foremost, looking at the daily chart of the German DAX. I did explain yesterday in my videos that you're looking at 75% resistance. Uh, you had a doji candle certainly indicating weakness and that's exactly what's occurred so far 60 minute chart at the moment we've certainly flushed up to gap fill then we've certainly bounced off that gap fill uh, and certainly looking for a move lower now you clearly have a hns formation okay so those of you that are trading the german dax watch out for this formation uh, in terms of the downside uh, flush and downside target let's just project that for you okay let's have a look here folks okay so hns formation in full swing here for the German DAX now. This will be mainly led by the fact that um, the latest uh, article from the Wall Street Journal, journal uh, no additional QE expected from Mr. Draghi. So lack of QE basically is probably the main catalyst. Okay, adding the fact that you have France terrorism, you have Baton Rouge, you have Turkey coup. So everything has been negated or ignored thus far. Uh, and now we have obviously weaker earnings. So in terms of earnings today, I think we have Microsoft and TAP and a few others. So again, keep an eye on those. We have had Goldman Sachs stronger than expected and Johnson & Johnson stronger than expected. That's certainly keeping the US market afloat for now. Okay, HNS formation does give you the HNS target. Obviously, you have gap filled below, so watch out for that gap at 9.630. So HNS on the German DAX, you're looking at a pivot high. Just give you, this is just for technical traders. I, obviously, I trade based on intermarket analysis, uh, amalgamation of technicals and fundamentals. So this is purely for technicals at present. But fundamentals certainly confirming the move lower. So you're looking at 9930 flush on the way down. So you're looking at a move of uh, 230 points. Okay, so 230 points on the way down. You're looking at 999700. Nine, 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 okay, so you're looking at 9700 target with gap fill being 96. 
30, okay? So 9700 HNS target on the German DAX on the 60 minute chart, okay? 10 minute chart of the uh, German DAX at the moment certainly uh, pushed higher off gap fill. So once we close the gap, we certainly bounced. Uh, the bounce itself really is feeble. If you take the pivot low to pivot high, you into that Fib 38% resistance. Any retracement will obviously find resistance here into gap fill. Obviously, if we do flush, uh, push higher than you are looking at that resistance zone there. Taking the two pivot highs again, so if we get to 10, 0, 20 or 10,000, certainly looking for risk off on the German DAX, okay? Right, so uh, German DAX certainly remains weak from my understanding. So let's move on to the French CAC now. Okay, French CAC, let's move to the daily chart first of all. Daily chart, finding weakness on that FIB 75%, very similar to the German DAX. 60-minute chart at the moment, really no man's land okay no man's land really uh, i can't really on a 60 minute chart the only thing i can certainly deduce from here is that we have lower lows and lower highs the concept of higher highs and higher lows is has certainly faded now okay so looking for higher uh, uh, lower lows lower highs uh, it really is tough trying to find any real pattern from here to be honest with you okay so for now lower lows lower highs ideal target obviously gap fill at 4190 then 200 ma at 4250 okay 10 minute chart on the French CAC at the moment. Again, you're basically retesting previous support equals resistance. We held a gap today. Okay, so again, looking for weakness, taking the pivot high from here, connecting it to the next pivot high, and you're clearly seeing resistance based on that diagonal trend line. So the French CAC certainly into resistance here into this 4330 zone. I'm currently short the S&P 500 at the moment, looking for 21.52 gap fill below, okay? So again, looking for a flush lower. Okay, so French CAC certainly remains bearish, okay? Let's move on to the FTSE 100 now, folks. Now, this one was a real bugbear. It stopped me out today, minus 30, certainly frustrating, but let's see exactly what's going on here. So the topping tail, hanging man, certainly holding, doji candle today, certainly impressive in the back of arm. Obviously, that certainly is helping to a large extent from yesterday's potential move. The uh, sterling certainly got hit on the back of stronger housing data, so sterling weaker, helping the FTSE 250 move higher. For now, the FTSE has resistance at 6715, so I'm going to be watching 6715, and then you have resistance here at 6710. So watch out for 6710 and 6715. Any trades now will have a stop loss above those two highs, okay? Uh, again, still looking for a lower high on the FTSE, but certainly showing resilience, okay? Uh, I mean, just an example of the resilience is the fact that uh, you had all the European indices down by almost 0.8, 0.6%, but the FTSE 100 actually closed positive. So take that into consideration, and that shows you strength, okay? Whether that strength is due to weaker sterling, whether that strength is due to potential um, um, potential uh, buyers for US, U UK companies, and that's what's making the FTSE attractive, it certainly is to be thinking, okay? Okay, so uh, yes, indeed, yeah. Okay, so again, look, close the gap on the FTSE 100. So daily chart certainly is indicating weakness. 60-minute chart indicating lower high. Those of you that are trading the FTSE 100. 10-minute chart on the FTSE, you clearly have this key resistance here. Previous support equals resistance at 9710, uh, 9715. Looking back in hindsight, a foresight, uh, my stop loss on the FTSE should not have been at 6711. I should have put a stop at 6721. But that's trading, folks, okay? That's trading, and uh, you have to continue and learn. I always use 30-point stops on my trades, okay? Uh, subscribers know that. Currently, plus 57 points this week, 150-odd points last week. So these two weeks have been decent, okay? So again, those of you that want to join the live analysis service, you're more than welcome to, folks. Just go onto my website, inter-market-analysis.com. If you click on the live analysis service, you'll see that the uh, there's an explanation of how the service works. You've got testimonials below, so feel free to read them. Uh, all you need to do is click on the two-week free trial or the two free week free trial uh, tab. Follow the instructions there. Email me your mobile number. I'll add you to the WhatsApp group, and off you go. Okay, so certainly uh, welcome to all all new subscribers that have access to a two-week free trial. And thereafter, it's fifty pound a month. Those of you that want to join, so it's all about learning, folks. It's not a signal service, it's, uh, it's a learning service, okay? So those that want to join, please do so only for the sake of learning and not for profit, okay? Education is better than profit. Okay, so again, uh, you have resistance, previous support equals resistance. You have diagonal or horizontal resistance here. So you have 6710, 6715, a solid resistance. A downside, you have support around the 6660 zone, so watch out for that. You also have support here as well at the 6680 zone and the FTSE 100. So again, watch out for those two zones. But again, FTSE 100 certainly impressive today. Certainly very, very impressive, okay? Very impressive. Even though oil prices certainly languishing at the lows, 
a 44, still not uh, deterring the FTSE from falling. So I have to respect that. Okay, in terms of the Euro stocks, which is the last one, really, let's just bring the Euro stocks. Again, these are the main European indices. Where art thou? Where art thou? Euro stocks. Here we go. Okay, so Euro stocks has this HNS formation, uh, bearish formation in play. So again, watch out for the HNS formation. We're below the neckline. Okay, so if I just give you the actual HNS target, HNS equals your pivot high is 2982 minus your neckline, which is uh, 2930. Let's just make it easy. 2980 minus 2930 equals a 50 point move so you're looking at 2880 okay on the downside so that's basically your downside target your gap fill is at 2830 so again take that into consideration your previous resistance equals support at 2890 so again take that into consideration as well but basically indicating a flush rate i'm at my current active trade is short the s p 500 with, uh, with subscribers on live analysis service so uh certainly indicating a move lower okay uh in terms of the daily chart on the uh, uh euro stocks again you obviously have held uh, previous support equals resistance you can hold a 50 75 75 75 fib retrace looking at retrade uh, reconnecting with that uh, 3000 level again or 2900 level sorry again or potentially this diagonal trend line so again remain open to those uh, potential support and resistance zones 10 minute chart on the euro stocks really is making lower lows lower highs languishing it did close a gap today it didn't really hold to be honest with you uh, again it looks like it wants to target at 2940 gap below and really, every, if anything here is basically a lower high. So just taking the pivot low to high, you're into that 50% retracement, looking for a flush. Okay, so certainly looking for a move lower here. Okay, folks, certainly looking for a move lower. Taking your pivot, your diagonal trend line pivot high to the next pivot high, and we're slap bang into that diagonal trend line. So indicating weakness. Let's move on to the actual price of oil. Oil prices certainly not helped today in terms of the Euro European session. Certainly helped in terms of the US session, given the. Um, given the actual housing data was stronger and again how stronger housing generally indicates stronger uh, demand for oil okay uh, so higher disposable income etc etc so uh, support is seen on oil at this uh, 45 dollar level currently trading at 45.5 okay at this uh, very moment in time so currently in that zone okay uh, daily chart at the moment this support level is crucial folks if we failed and, and trade below this then it certainly opens up the level 42 folks okay so again certainly some cause for concern you do have an unfilled gap as well below so bear that in mind so that certainly is a uh, possibility but oil certainly isn't looking good at present okay certainly isn't looking good at present okay now the turkish coup failed to push it higher as well so again that certainly is a cause for concern uh, the chart of copper at the moment copper is uh, into resistance so no real uh, impetus from copper so again that certainly should be a cause for concern looking for a flush okay flush on copper uh, and therefore looking given the fact that the dollar index today is certainly starting to rise stronger housing data again supports a potential rate hike uh, in the us given the uncertainty as well globally terrorism fears etc etc the daily chart of the uh, us dollar certainly as you can see here pushing higher if i bring up the 10-year uh, bond let me just bring up the 10-year bond, see if we can find any clues as to where the market's going from there. Where are thou? Where are thou? Let's see where the bond market is positioned. If it's positioned bearish, it certainly isn't looking good. Okay, so at the moment, the bond market, this is a daily chart, certainly flush lower, hence the reason why you're looking at a move higher. And the bond market really is positioned bearish. Can you see the bear flag? Okay, so a move lower on the, um, on the actual uh, bond market itself is, is considered to be bearish, folks, okay? So again, it looks like it wants to retest that breakout level, okay? Or again, so keep an eye on that breakout level on the uh, on the bond market. It looks like it wants to flush lower with stronger housing data. So yields, so the actual uh, bond prices are 10 year moving lower will indicate yields moving higher, and therefore uh, ind indicating real yields moving higher, and that will obviously force the US dollar higher as well. Uh, and stronger US uh, housing data certainly supports that. So. So watch out, watch out, okay, watch out with regards to the dollar. Certainly it looks very, very interesting, okay? So again, that will indicate risk off as well. Okay, folks, I think that's a good summation of European indices. My bias certainly, as you know, certainly remains weak. FTSE resistance at 6710, 6715. Okay, looking to potentially find support at 6660 and 6655. Uh, and so certainly look out for uh, for the move below. Uh, support will be seen at 6625 on the 60-minute chart. But the FTSE 100 is resilient at present. Okay, that should be uh, sufficient. Please do visit CFDs.com for your trading needs and take advantage of that 25% bonus and come and trade with me. Goodbye now.